Get ready for a lovey-dovey February on Netflix. They've got a bunch of romantic movies that'll totally grab your heart. Life's all about moments of impact and how they change our lives forever. But what if one day you could no longer remember any of them? Kate, you're in the hospital. You were in a car accident. Any pain? My head hurts, doctor. First up, there's The Vow with Channing Tatum and Rachel McAdams. It's a rom-com where Rachel wakes up after a car crash with zero memory, and Channing has to win her heart all over again. Then, there's The Great Gatsby, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a really good remake of the Jay Gatsby story. But the excitement does not end. There are lots more coming. Do you like bartending? It's not really what I do. What is it that you really do? But then, you came along and gave me this unexpected, magical moment. Magic Mike is back on stage for one more dance in Magic Mike's Last Dance. After a failed business deal left him broke, he's bartending in Florida when a wealthy socialite, Salma Hayek, lures him to London with an offer he can't refuse. Mike, Channing Tatum, hopes it's his last hurrah, but surprise surprise she's got an agenda of her own. As Mike discovers her real plans, he's got to whip a new group of dancers into shape to pull it off. While Magic Mike's Last Dance may not have the same excitement as the friendship saga in XXL, it's still a fantastic film. Steven Soderbergh weaves a captivating story, turning the film into a mix of The Bandwagon and Pretty Woman, a backstage musical with rom-com flair and a focus on reinvention. And some good. Maybe that as well. Our next one, Shortcomings, marks the SVOD debut of the Sony Pictures classic film featuring Justin. I must say, this one really won me over. I have a soft spot for coming-of-age stories in adults, and even though Ben, our somewhat annoying main character, is undeniably insufferable, there's something about his self-pity and oblivious toxic attitude that strangely makes me feel less alone. It's quite refreshing to witness completely flawed characters take center stage in a film. Shortcoming serves as a compelling character study of a jerkish film snob, but also a fun and sincere exploration that delves into various sub-themes. These include the clash between Western and Asian cultural influences, the contemporary preoccupation with race and relationships, and humorous commentary on the film industry and snobbery. You finally get to meet your mysterious boyfriend. Huh? Hello, Ben. Hi. Praise Jesus. Maybe just be honest with him. <laughs> Another one is Let's Talk About Chu, Season 1, a Netflix original that follows the story of Chu Ai, a part-time vlogger who uses her channel to discuss sex openly. However, in her real life, she discovers that the subject is much more challenging and sensitive than when she addresses it in her videos. The show delves into her struggles to find the right partner while navigating the complexities of relationships. Starring Chan Tzu Tsen, Kai Ko, and JC Lin, the series explores the contrast between Chu Ai's online persona and her real life experiences with intimacy. Up next is Plus One, a romantic comedy featuring Emma Erskine and Jack Quaid. I was pretty certain I'd love it, with about 99% confidence, but I was still surprised by how much I enjoyed it. I was confident enough to consider giving it an 8 or higher even before the first hour passed. It has everything I look for in romantic movies. Great chemistry, enjoyable side characters, and authentic dialogue. It's like all my favorite elements from when Harry met Sally just separated and given a modern update. I also appreciated the rom-com's fascination with weddings, although it has perhaps influenced me more than I expected. I love cuddling, I just don't want to cuddle with you. What about tickle scratching? What is tickle scratching? We like, we scratch each other's backs in a gentle way, but it's not weird, it's like... What? Ugh. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do, but they stay for all the things they can be. This quote is from our next pick. Ready Player One. The movie is set in 2045, where players engage in a virtual world to compete for the fortune of a billionaire. Spielberg's direction in this film is remarkable, showcasing an untethered sense of movement and spectacle that immerses the audience in the captivating worlds and possibilities of the Oasis. As the story progresses, the film subtly shifts from portraying reality as a wasted landscape to an overlooked and forgotten physical world suffering from the lack of economic support. The latter part of the film draws intriguing parallels with Inception, alternating between the virtual fantasia of the easter egg hunt and the real world repercussions. It delves into themes of corporate overreach and the monetization encroaching on our means of escape. The Shining sequence is particularly noteworthy, distorting Kubrick's film into a video game level of concepts and memorable images. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an easter egg. 
The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the oasis itself. Followed by One Day, a limited series and a Netflix original that unfolds a romantic British tale. The story revolves around two graduates who make a pact to go their separate ways but commit to meeting each other every year thereafter. The series explores the evolving dynamics of their relationship as they navigate life's challenges and changes over the years. It promises a heartfelt journey through the annual reunion of these two characters. Imagine one selected day struck out of your life and think how different its course would have been. Moving on, we have a documentary, Lover, Stalker, Killer. If you're into Netflix's true crime documentary, you know they've got this whole section dedicated to murder, mayhem, and all things dark. From the confession tapes to conversation with the killer, Killer Inside, The Mind of Aaron Hernandez, and American Murder, The Family Next Door, it's like a deep dive into the minds of killers and all the messed up stuff they do. It's when Liz came into my life. She was very smiley, energetic. She liked motorcycles. I had a motorcycle. I was a match made in heaven. And then one morning, I get a text from Carrie Farmer. It was a total shock. The messages started slowly, but it ramped up. The implication was, if I can't have you, nobody will. Now, coming in February, there's another one to add to the list. Lover, Stalker, Killer. This documentary zooms in on David Kropa's love life, revealing a crazy love story where his ex-girlfriend goes all out, stalking, sending nasty messages, and eventually killing his current flame after threatening to do so. Coming up next, we have Ashes, a Netflix original which is a Turkish romance drama that follows the story of a woman whose life takes an unexpected turn after she picks up an unpublished novel. The narrative unfolds as she delves into the pages of the book, leading to a series of events that shatter the foundations of her life. The series explores themes of love, loss, and self-discovery against the backdrop of an unpublished novel that holds the key to transforming her reality. <laughs> Before I move on to our next pick, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Up next, we have Players, a romantic comedy directed by Trish C. and written by Whit Anderson. The cast is awesome, with Gina Rodriguez, Damon Wayans Jr., and Thomas Ellis. The film is set to drop on Netflix on February 14, 2024. The story revolves around Matt, a sports writer from NYC who, along with her best friend Adam, is into setting up hookups. But things get interesting when Mac meets Nick, a correspondent. Now she's got to decide whether to stick to hookups or give a real relationship a shot. 33, and I want an adult. Want this dude? Well, let's get him. Yes! Uh, uh. Need to play, guys. What do we got? We've never played for keeps. Well, then, it's Moneyball this shit, baby. Next, The Heartbreak Agency is a 2024 film directed by Shiro Pelling. The movie introduces a young journalist aiming to expose the charming founder of a lovesick agency as a fraud. During this quest, the journalist finds himself on a journey to rediscover their own lost ability to love. The film stars Rosalie Thomas, Lawrence Rupp, and Cora Troom. The storyline, written by Antonia roth Learman, Elena Katharina Sohn, and Mauld Welding, explores themes of love, deception, and self-discovery. The Heartbreak Agency promises to offer a unique perspective on modern love and the challenges that come with it. Ready, set, love, set in an alternate reality where the male population is decreasing. In this unique scenario, women participate in a government-sponsored event called Ready, Set, Love, competing for male affection. Day, an average woman, unexpectedly finds herself part of this competition. Despite her initial reservations, she decides to take part and encounter Sun, one of the five eligible bachelors. This sets the stage for a genuine love story with a distinctive twist. Our second to last pick is Tyler Perry's most recent collaboration with Netflix. Titled Mia Copa, it brings together the creative forces of the renowned filmmaker and singer-actor Kelly Rowland. Tyler Perry is deeply involved as director, producer, and writer in his fifth major project with Netflix, building on the success of previous hits like A Fall From Grace and A Medea Homecoming. Tyler Perry took to Instagram to share his excitement about Mia Copa, promising a crazy, sexy thriller. The crime legal drama follows the story of criminal defense attorney Mia Harper, played by Kelly Rowland, and artist Zaire Malloy, played by Trevant Rhodes. 
Filming for Mia Culpa took place in Atlanta and Chicago from March 6th to the 24th, with the story described as a boy meets girl concept offering unpredictable twists. It's only when they get right into striking distance that they become very violent. Our last pick is the third installment in the Through My Window trilogy, Through My Window, Looking At You. Following the impactful events of Across the Sea, the future looks uncertain for the young couple, heightening the anticipation for the third film. Expect to see Clara Gale and Julio Peña Fernandez reprising their roles as Raquel and Ares, the central characters in the story. The official plot for Through My Window 3 explores the aftermath of Ares and Raquel's strained long-distance relationship. Set in winter in Barcelona, the story delves into their undeniable love and desire, questioning whether they can find a way back to each other after going their separate ways. And that's a wrap on the top romantic movies and series coming to Netflix this February. Let me know which ones you're looking forward to watching this month. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get updated. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. See you at the next one.